ओके हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून वट एवर इट इज एट योर प्लेस सो आई होप एवरी वन इज वेल सो आई एम बैक फाइनली आफ्टर गैप ऑफ फ्यू डेज विद दिस क्वेश्चन बैंक इन डाज इस लॉग एरिदम वी आर डन विद फर्स्ट सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी वन नाउ मे बी विल डू द वीडियो इन टू थ्री पार्ट एज यूजल बिफोर वी स्टार्ट एज यूजल लेट मी टेल यू सम रूल्स दिस वीडियो इज फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ एग्जाम ओके सो आर अप्रोच इज गोइंग टू बी फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन क्विकली इन वन मिनट इफ यू हैव नॉट स्टडीड द चैप्टर बिफोर देन आइडियली यू शुड स्टडी इट फर्स्ट स्टडी द कंसेप्ट फर्स्ट सो आई हैव अपलोडेड इंटायर रिविजन एंड फ्री बैच ओके रिविजन बैच फॉर मेन मेन चैप्टर्स एंड फ्री रेग्युलर बैच फॉर ऑल द चैप्टर्स ऑन द यूट्यूब चैनल and the link for uh, the entire batch is also there in every video you'll find it description so go through that first and then come to this if you are not comfortable with the concepts okay. so this video is mainly going to be from exam point of view how to finish every question within 1 minute because that is the most important thing in exam we are going to start in simple english so that everyone is comfortable no issues of language okay fine so so let's start i've i've been getting a lot of requests in comments about next question so yeah so sorry i was away for a few days because i had a very tight schedule but now i am free let's start the videos again so also i am uploading i've started uploading daily mcqs again on the telegram channel so you can join it uh, the description will contain the link for that okay so let's start 61 log 1 plus 2 plus 3 is exactly equal to okay that is log 1 plus 2 plus 3 there is no rule such as log a plus log log a plus b okay there is no rule standard rule for this okay so don't write log a into log b understand log 1 plus 2 plus 3 is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 6 right so log 6 log 6 can be written as log of 2 into 3 now we can apply standard rule that will be log 2 plus log 3 because log a b is log a plus log b okay they have given log 1 also so if we want we can write it like this also 1 into 2 into 3 So it will be log one plus log two plus log three option A is the correct answer. Sixty-two. Okay. okay, they ideally should have given log one into log two into log three in the options so that it would have been confusing, but they have not given. Forget about it. Sixty-two. Easy question if you have no calculator. Logarithm of logarithm of twenty-one nine fifty-two to the base two root seven, and logarithm of nineteen six eighty-three to the base three root three. R. Okay. Equal not equal whatever. No need to you know, use log table or anything like that. Understand the basics of log. If x is equal to this, then that means two root seven raised to x is equal to twenty one nine fifty two. Two root seven raised to x is equal to twenty one nine fifty two. So what we can do is on our calculator we can take two root seven. How can we take two root seven? Two into seven root is equal to five point two nine something, right? Take it on your calculator. Now we have to keep raising it till we get this number. How to keep raising it? Press into one time and then equal to. When you press one time equal to, you'll get square. When you press it again, you'll get cube. When you press it again, you'll get raised to four, five, six. When at raised to six, you get twenty one nine fifty one point nine nine nine. That is twenty one nine fifty two, right? That means this x is six. Similarly, we can assume here three root three raised to y. Is equal to 19683. So, what we can do again? 3 into 3 root is equal to 5.19 something into and then equal to equal to equal to till you get 19683. Start counting from 2. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 6 is is correct because you are getting 19682.999. So again, y is also 6, So they are equal. A is the correct answer. 63. The value of is. वो oh, is गलती से is is wrong. Value of 4 log 8 by 25 minus 3 log 16 by 125 minus log 5 is okay. Let's try. Consider it carefully. Can I write it as log of 8 by 25 raised to 4? Okay, because a log b is log of b raised to a, or b log a is log of a raised to b, right? Minus it will be log of 16 by 125 raised to 3 minus log of 5. Now we can use basic rule of logarithm. Understand carefully. Log a. Minus log b. Log a minus log b is log a by b. So we are going to have log of a. A is what? Eight by twenty-five raised to four. By b. By b means what? Divided by this sixteen by one twenty-five raised to three. 
and again by c means by this 5 okay. so we can write it in a proper fraction format log of 8 raised to 4 by 25 raised to 4 into let's take reciprocal 125 raised to 3 upon 16 raised to 3 into 1 by 5 let's see if everything is getting cancelled most probably it will get cancelled log of 8 raised to 4 can I write 8 as 2 cube so it will be 2 cube raised to 4 that means 2, 2 raised to 3 into 4 12 multiplied by 125 is 5 cube right so 5 cube raised to 3 is what 5 raised to 9 upon 25 raised to 4 is what 25 is 5 square so 5 raised to 2 bracket raised to 4 is 5 raised to 2 into 4 8 into 16 cube is what 16 is 2 raised to 4 bracket cube so that is again 2 raised to 12 and 5 so if you observe everything will get cancelled 2 raised to 12 5 raised to 9 and this 8 plus 1 9 so log of 1 is the correct answer log of 1 is 0 so option A is the correct answer for question 63 64 64 can be confusing but there is a very good way for that no need to solve it you know if you have watched my earlier videos you know most of the questions are go by options because that is the best trick in exam right so let's go by options or put some values so let's put some values we have a raised to log b minus log c b raised to log c minus log a c raised to log a minus log b so we can write it like this right log a raised to log of b by c into b raised to log of c by a into c raised to log of a by b fine let's assume some numbers so that we can take log easily if you want to take log easily we can assume a as 10 b as 100 Are, just a second b as 100 and c as 1000 so let's see a is 10 10 raised to log of b by c that is log of 100 by 1000 100 by 1000 is going to be 0.1 then b raised to that is 100 raised to log of c by a c by a is uh, 1000 by 10 1000 by 10 is going to be 10 and c raised to sorry 1000 by 10 is going to be 100 and c raised to log of a by b a by b is going to be 10 by 100 again 0 0.1 hmm, fine so let's multiply this together carefully what is log of 0 0.1 understand log of 0 0.1 to base 10 if we assume it as x then again if we rearrange like log 10 raised to x should be 0 0.1 and if you observe carefully 0.1 is nothing but 1 by 10 right or nothing but 10 raised to minus 1 so that value of log is going to be minus 1 you have to be comfortable with this okay if you are comfortable with this conversion and change of base you can solve any logarithm question understand carefully basic property obviously 10 raised to log 0.1 is minus 1 into 100 raised to log 100 is 2 into 1000 raised to log 0.1 is again minus 1 right so that is going to be 100 square upon 10 into 1000 right 100 square means what we will get two extra zeros so if you just cancel 3 3 3 1 1 is the correct answer option A okay fine 65 log 1 by log of ABC to log AB something 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 is equal to what okay now here you can substitute numbers but actually substituting numbers will be difficult why because base is not 10 the base is something different so the best way to do this is carefully understand whenever you see different base whenever you see different base for any log question if base is different use change of base that's it change of base is what log of a to the base b can be written as log a by log b any base okay log of a to the base b can be written as log a by log b and we can give any base 10 100 whatever we want okay fine so can I write this as only first term think about first term 1 by log of abc by log ab right and in that case that uh, log ab can be taken in the numerator so it will become log ab by log abc then plus log bc by log abc and plus log ac by or ca by log abc if you observe denominator is same so we can just add the numerator if we add the numerator it will be log ab plus log bc plus log ac if we add log okay it, we, we are going to have this right log ab plus log bc plus log ac log a plus log b is what log of a into b so that is going to be ab into bc into ac 
दैट मीन्स विल हैव ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर और विल हैव लॉग ऑफ ए बी सी ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर केयरफुली केयरफुली डू इट बट यू हैव टू बी फास्ट विद दिस कैलकुलेशन सो दैट यू कैन सॉल्व इट क्विकली एंड इन न्यूमिनेटर भी एनी वे हैव लॉग ए बी सी विच वॉज कॉमन कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर राइट सो वी कैन जस्ट टेक दिस टू डाउन हियर सो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव टू लॉग ए बी सी अपॉन लॉग ए बी सी विच विल बी जस्ट टू टू इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन सी ओके क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी सिक्स इज अगेन समथिंग सिमिलर लेट्स ट्राई क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी सिक्स जस्ट अ सेकेंड ओके सो क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी सिक्स ना सिक्सटी सिक्स विल टेक अ लिटिल बिट मोर टाइम अगेन यू कैन एज्यूम नंबर्स बट दैट विल बी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ओके सो बेटर वे इज सॉल्व इट बिकॉज इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी टू डिफिकल्ट जस्ट इट इज गोइंग टू टेक सम टाइम ओके ओनली फोकस ऑन फर्स्ट टर्म डोंट फोकस ऑन टर्म टू एंड टर्म थ्री राइट नाउ ओके लेट मी सॉल्व इट समवेर एल्स वन बाय वन प्लस लॉग ऑफ बी सी टू द बेस ए आई थिंक इट वॉज लाइक दिस येस अगेन चेंज ऑफ बेस वेन यूर बेसिस इज बेसिस आर डिफरेंट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व देन चेंज ऑफ बेस इज द वे टू गो इज इक्वल टू वन बाय वन प्लस कैन आर एडिट एज लॉग बी सी अपॉन लॉग ए राइट देन विल हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस हियर टू टेक एल सी एम सो इट विल बी वन अपॉन वन सॉरी वन अपॉन लॉग ए प्लस लॉग बी सी होल अपॉन लॉग ए राइट आई जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइड हियर टू टेक एल सी एम लॉग ए विल बी द कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर एंड लॉग ए प्लस लॉग बी सी अपॉन लॉग ए नॉ लेट्स टेक दिस टू द न्यूमोनेटर सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी लॉग ए डिवाइडेड बाय ओके लॉग ए प्लस लॉग बी सी इज वॉट लॉग ए प्लस लॉग बी इज लॉग ए बी सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी लॉग ए इन टू बी सी सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी लॉग ए बी सी सो इट इज सिंपली गोइंग टू बी लॉग ए अपॉन लॉग ए बी सी दैट सेट now go to the question and observe the terms they are just going to be log b upon log abc and log c upon log abc observe this b will go up and this c will go up so denominator is going to be same so we are go just going to add log b upon log abc and similarly log c upon log abc so numerator is same uh, sorry denominator is same let's add numerator it is going to be log of a plus log of b plus log of c upon log abc using basic rule of logarithm we can just multiply log abc upon log abc so that gives us 1 1 is the correct answer option b okay fine uh, just okay yes next is 67 67 again similar only let's focus on first term it will be 1 upon log x upon log a by b right it will be like this because change of base is log x upon log a by b fine then log a by b will go in the numerator so what will happen is if you observe again common denominator is going to be log x and in numerator will have log of a by b plus log of b by c plus log of c by a if we again multiply the terms because log a plus log b is log ab that is going to be log of a by b into b by c into c by a upon log x everything will get cancelled one will remain log of one is zero zero upon anything is zero so zero is the correct answer option a for question number 67 68 68 if you know that is a straight forward property answer will be one or if not you can just change the base If you change the base, it will be log a by log b into log b by log c into log c by log a. Again, change of base, so everything will be cancelled. One is the correct answer. Hmm? Right. 69. 69 is similar to 68. Just there are powers, right? So let's take out that power. Take out those powers. How? Concentrate carefully. Half I can take down. So half. into log of a to the base b again 3 we can take down into 3 into log of b to the base c into again 2 by 3 we can take down into log of c to the base a hmm. again if you observe these three terms are just like above log a to base b log b to base c log c to base b just like this so the log is log c to base a right so that is going to be one so let's cancel it So whatever is remaining, two, two, three, three, everything will be cancelled. One is the correct answer option B for question number sixty-nine. Okay. Next question number seventy. 
the value of this is a raised to log b by c into b raised to log c by a into c raised to log a by b. I guess this question is repeated. Yeah, this question is repeated. Question number seventy is exactly like question number sixty-four. Why? Sixty-four was also like this. Log of sorry, a raised to log b by c, b raised to log c by a, c raised to log a by b. Why? Because log b minus log c is log b by c. Right. So if you observe these three terms are exactly same in question 70. So option is going to be one only. Answer is going to be one. Option B. Fine. Question number 71 is similar, but there are now some extra terms. Again, let's assume numbers. Let's assume a as 10, b as 100, c as 1000. So let's take terms one by one. B into c raised to log of b by c. B into C is going to be hundred into thousand, so hundred thousand raised to log B by C. B by C is point one. Log of point one is minus one. Fine. C into A. C into A is ten thousand raised to log of C by A. C by A is hundred. Log of hundred is two. Fine. A into B. A into B is one thousand raised to log of A by B is point one. That is minus one again. Again. Ten thousand raised to two, ten thousand. Okay, for any number like this, the zero number of zeros will just double if it is square. So again, one, two, three, four divided by this one lakh will go in denominator, and this thousand will go in denominator. So we can just cancel the zeros and see if everything is getting cancelled. Yes. So one is the correct answer option B. That's it. Seventy-two. Okay. The value of this is okay. Again, very. Time pass question. We can just multiply it, right? It will be log of this into this into this, right? So everything will get cancelled. Log of one, log of one is zero. Option A. Don't take one. Log of one that is zero. Seventy-three value of this is again everything will be just multiplied. So let me write like this. Let's see what is getting cancelled. There are two a's and a square, so that will be cancelled. Two b and b square, two c's and c square. So again, log of one, log of one is zero. Option A. Next, seventy-four. Log of a raised to nine plus log a is equal to ten. If value of a is given by what? Fine. Again, log of a raised to nine. Can I just write it as nine times log a plus log a? Nine times log a plus log a is what? Ten times log a. So ten log a. Sorry. Ten log a is equal to ten. Right. So I can just cancel ten and ten on both sides. That means log a is equal to one. Okay, if base is ten, okay, if base is not given, then that means you have to assume that it is ten. So log of a is one, but we know that log of ten is one. So ten is the answer option B. Fine. Okay. So question seventy-five. Now seventy-five is a question where you cannot assume values and okay. If you remember, I told you a trick in previous questions. Whenever there are two equal to signs, you have to most probably assume it is k. Okay, so you can assume everything as k and solve this. So maybe let's solve it in next video. So that in next video we can take 75 to the end, I guess 90 or 97. Fine. So probably one or two more videos, mostly one. Right. So let's stop here for this video. 74. If you have any doubt, let me know in comments. And if you feel like you know you need help or you need uh, you want me to solve any other question by asking any other questions, let me know in comments freely. I will upload those because the most important thing is understanding the concepts and you being able to apply those concepts in exam in a fast way. Because even if you know all the concepts, I have seen a lot of students who were really good at maths because they understood all the concepts, but they were not able to score that much because they were not able to complete the paper. So in exam, maths is only two hours, hundred questions, so it is very difficult to complete unless. you have a good grasp over concepts tricks and calculator okay fine so okay see you all in the next video then bye everyone let's stop